Right, it's pressure test time. So I'm going to show off my Testo 557 gauges. I like these gauges, I like them a lot to be honest. I like the yellow jacket ones as well and the um, field piece ones as well. But it's not my money. And I'm not buying them on my own money. So these are them. They're a bit grubby, but it's normally where I'm working. So. As you can see, those are our pressures at the moment. So, make sure that's all closed off. So, menu, measure mode. So, we've got refrigeration, which is the screen we just had, evacuation, pressure leak test, a few other things as well. This is new, refrigerant charging. So, if you've got those really fancy new uh, scales, you can do it from here, you can connect to them, which is very nice. And then you've got a few other things target superheat, that's a TIG press a test but we want pressure leak test so so there that's connected to my clamp temperature clamp so that is going to act as my um, ambient air so it's going to compensate for any changes of air temperature which is of course going to affect your pressure you can do that manually I think I've done a video before of how to do it manually if you don't have fancy gauges so click on there so all you do so that's your pressure on your high side the only thing and obviously that's the um, temperature compensation so that's what we're using on there I personally like it if you could uh, monitor both sides high and low because uh, obviously most people are doing both sides but that's just what it is so you start so you start pressure current and then the difference between them and then you have time and then you just press stop when you want to stop but if you connect your phone as a second screen you can trend it as well and you also can create a report so if you're on a particular site where they want to see proof I suppose or anything like that then you can do it but I really like these gauges to be honest um, I've got two um, yeah I do like them so yeah cheers guys